So uh, now that we got the Cubist Pro out of the way, and it piqued my curiosity more into these advanced cup tanks, you know, trying to leachy. Now we have the CL tank by Kanger 4.0. So what are you getting in this thing? Oh, the box, simple, regular. You know, you guys know how much I love boxing time. You have your, uh, go and check to see if it's legit. And you got your QRF scanner. And it tells you the colors. It's going to come in red, silver, black, and white. So, you have options. So what you're getting in here is, what do they give you here? In the box, got a little instruction booklet. Get rid of that. Oh, you got you if you want to scan your QRF, it'll show you how. How thoughtful Kanger. And that's it. You're also getting... You get, they give you a, a nickel, a nickel coil, and the stainless steel is pre-installed. Stainless steel is a 0.5. So you can vod it, oh, yeah, vod it, beep it, in stainless steel temp mode, or your classic wattage. So that's it. You know that's that's their that's their take on the on the cup tank. So let me show you. One thing it has that this is actually keeping with the laws that are coming. I'm, you know, these are things that are going to start popping up on tanks. Childproof design. You can't just spin it off. And that is the airflow. So it will, will not interfere with your top airflow. But you will have to push it down. And voila. Out comes your coily, drippy goodness. It holds 4 mils of juice. So it's pretty... I just spit everywhere. It's a relatively large tank. You know, 510 threads, 510 drip tip. If you want, you can just pop that out. You know, uh, ooh. it's a glass tank. Nothing fancy. 22 millimeter. Measures 2.5 by 7 eighths long. Uh, I mean, I picked it up. It was 15, uh, 1495 on uh, my vapor store. So, ooh, hold on. I need a napkin. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I live in a house of microfiber towels. I just want to show you the coil, see what we're dealing with. This isn't going to be a, a very long video, guys, so do not worry. Oh, if I get there, we go. So, the coil comes off just like any other coil that dunks in these tanks. Just grab it and twist the shaft, and there you go. That's the coil. So, you got a wick hole there. Oh, let me show you. You got two wick holes. Both relatively small. I'm not even. This isn't even worth fuzzing myself out and zooming in on it. You're not missing. You're not missing a whole hell of a lot with these uh, tank coils. So now let's not make this longer than it needs to be because I will be very honest. I did not enjoy my vape time on this. And I'll, I'll explain to you as I vape. And you got to push down to just to lock it in. I'm going to open my airflow all the way, which opening your airflow all the way on this and vaping is almost pointless because it is one of the tightest drawers I've had in a long time. So, when oh, they show you, just so you can see, they make their fill line you know, very visible. So the, uh, some of the other tanks don't have it. Oh, and this will vape from 15 to 60 watts on their uh, 0.5 stainless steel coil. So we'll do a little vape montage at 20. Not even far enough. Flavor is not even there. Airflow is just way too restricted on this. They re that that they fucked up big time. The one good thing is there's no flooding at all. There's been absolutely no flooding. It the coil stayed perfect. But my argument is that's great. But if you have a coil that you know, it doesn't produce a lot of flavor. You know, uh, doesn't it produces you pull it enough, it'll produce vapor, but you can end up giving yourself a headache. So, this is reading at a 0.58. We'll just do a 40. No sense in dragging out the inevitable bad review. Flavor so so, not terrible, not good. And the draw is just the draw is fucking miserable on this. Completely miserable. And I got a couple dry hits off it too. We'll do a 55 and that's it. See, 55 is not bad, but you're going to burn your lip on it. Uh, 
that's where you're going to want to vape it. If you do buy this 55, it takes, it gives you enough vapor that it's going to, it's going to overcome the airflow issue a little bit, but the airflow is still way too tight. And the flavor is just not there at all, you know. And when I ran it that high, I started getting some dry hits. So we're going to pop this into stainless steel mode quick. Stainless steel. Start off at 400, see if it any vapes any better. Oh, I'm getting nothing out of it. That's encouraging. All right, so not even working on stainless steel mode. So, well, what are you going to do? That's uh, some of the pitfalls. Let's try it again. I'm going to take it off and put it back on and give it another shot. Why not vape on uh, a bit of pop in the other coil? I, I didn't try the nickel yet, so I'm just kind of interested to see how that is, which I'm sure it's not going to be good. Yeah, it's not even... Not doing dick in stainless steel, so I'm gonna wick the other wick the other coil and come right back. Okay, so I got the 0.15 nickel in here to add insult to injury. Doesn't vape in stain it doesn't vape in nickel mode, doesn't vape in stainless steel mode, it only produces tiny little clouds. So I had to put it on titanium mode to get this thing to work. So you guys could tell I'm not gonna be able to lie to you guys ever. And give a shitty product a good review because my poker face is complete garbage. So without further ado, nickel vape. And that was void of flavor and cloud. So overall, this one is only better than the Cubis Pro because it refuses to uh, flood. But that's basically by default, so, you know, the undisputed winner of the Cups. is definitely the lychee. So, uh, I hate to bring another fucking tank in on another review, but I just, I just didn't like, there was nothing about this tank I liked. I was not thrilled with the quality. I was not thrilled with the vape, you know. There wasn't much, there, there was nothing to it. I know it's a $15 tank. But it still sucked. I just didn't like it. Sorry. Sorry if you guys, you know, the Thumbs Down Brigade wants to come over and, uh, you know, visit this video. But it is what it is. If it's not good, it's not good. Take note of the vape companies. They know what the fuck they're doing when you leave. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to go to Kassad just to check out what's going on uh, with the deeming regulations. They're a pretty good site. That's my favorite one. And uh, if you want to subscribe, that little button is still there. And a lot of you guys have been hitting it now. And uh, we're actually starting to move this channel a little bit and getting a lot of good feedback from you guys. So uh, I'm going to do another video tonight, but it's going to be for uh, new vapors. So peace out, guys.